no matter what city you're playing tomorrow. <coughs> you can't let a cold keep you up tonight. Vicks NyQuil, powerful nighttime six symptom cold and flu relief. The post game presents On the Road. Nah, it's October 21st today. I've been looking forward to this day for a long time since last year. Redskins playing the Giants today. Been a Redskins fan all my life since I was five years old. Grew up in the city, moved out to Long Island, Southampton, New York, when I was six years old. Uh, since then, I haven't missed a Redskins game at Giants Stadium. Every year I've come to this game. Playoffs, preseason, during the strike year in 87. Here we are, MetLife Stadium, baby. Finally got here. Big day today. Look at the weather, 60 degrees. It's freaking perfect out. Now, I brought some stuff today. I always bring some good luck charms. The last seat ever, well, not the last seat ever, the last game ever at RFK. Where I sat, we broke a lot of seats. Just don't tell anybody. Then we brought a couple shirts. We're either gonna go with this one. I wasn't feeling the luck today. I always have to feel the right amount of luck. So we're gonna go with this one. This brings me a few wins once in a while. So it's not a, it's not a town game unless there's bacon involved. You gotta have bacon. And how good is this? Bacon wrapped over anything. Anything <laughs> with bacon is two thumbs up to me. Giant fans are great fans. That's why it's fun to let them have it. They're always respectful, but they'll, they'll let you have it. I want to know, everyone wants to know, what's some advice for a Redskins fan here? Even though we're going to probably kick your butt for them. What's the best advice for a Redskins fan? Man. Probably not wear those jerseys inside. <laughs> we treat them well. We just bury them like, like real teams. They respect us. They're 2 0 against the Redskins. Hey, yeah, you see these names on the Giant jerseys Rodney Hampton, Lawrence Taylor. Brings back a lot of memories from when I used to come, you know, mid 80s was a classic rival. They'd have, they'd have just tremendous matchups, and then they would always be, they were the two powerhouses. The Giants, the Giants beat the Redskins 17-0 in the playoffs in 1986. Oh, here, no. I was like eight years That's old. what I was talking about. One of my worst memories it. ever here at Giants Stadium. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know, you guys haven't been relevant. Well, yeah. that, that's why it's going to change this time. Yeah. We haven't been relevant. But now we have a quarterback. It's the first time Giant fans fear the Redskins, I think. Uh, we're not scared. Redskins going to kill it. Giants going down. RG3, got the sleeve for him. I love football. Uh, it's a big day for Redskins fans. There's always going to be a lot of Redskins fans up here. They travel well. And I'm looking forward to just hanging out with my friends, tailgating. Uh, hopefully the Redskins win today. If they win, they'll be 4-3. and three. And of course, for later, no Redskins fans ever comes out without, you know, the old hog guests. we got to put the hogs, baby. Let's go, Redskins. Here we go. <laughs> We've got the music ready here later, uh, Hail to the Redskins song. Got it set up on the iPod. Uh, we'll be singing the words for you later, but we always listen to this, get pumped up, and when you see all the other Redskins fans, Hail to uh... the Redskins! Hail victory! Braves on the warpath! Fight for all DC! We had a great time today here at MetLife Stadium. I'm James Hillen. Hope everyone has a good time, gets a much better idea of what this rivalry is about. And it's going to be a great game today. Go Redskins! Hail victory! Praise